Good morning. Welcome to Kila Chari Torah's Daily Halacha Review for Wednesday, August 24th. We started speaking about the laws of Rosh Hashanah, uh, and we are talking about liturgical changes, changes made in the uh, words that we use uh, to pray. Uh, you'll notice at uh, certain junctures in the Amida and the Shman Asra, there are uh, words in the art scroll. It's in a gray box. I don't know what uh, how, how it appears in different sedurim that you might use, maybe brackets, maybe parentheses. In art scroll, they put a gray box and they say from Rosh Hashanah to Yom Kippur, uh, use this alternative uh, uh, reading or this uh, uh, or this uh, phrase, this interpolation, this uh, insertion into the prayers. Uh, one of those is Zachreinu uh, Lachaim. One of those is Micha Moicha. And one of those is Uchasov and inscribe us or Besefer Chaim in the first, second, 18th and 19th blessings of the Amida. Uh, those are to be inserted. So that's a, a, re- a good reason, as we said the other day, to take your prayers nicely and slowly at uh, this time of year, not to rush to them because you'll uh, be much more likely to forget one or more of these inclusions because we don't customarily say them and we've trained our lips to just uh, follow through from one thing to the other. So these are interpretation, uh, interpolations, additions to the prayers which should be carefully considered and said with great uh, attentiveness. So a good way to do that is to follow along in your sitter, not just let your, uh, your lips and your tongue uh, do their thing as they do the other 51 weeks of the year. Um, if you forgot to say one of those and you do not become aware of it until you said Baruch HaZashem, you started the bracha, since you mentioned God, you should finish the blessing and continue uh, the rest of the Amida. You don't have to repeat it. Similarly, if you, got, if you forgot to say so grant your awe. That's on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur itself. We add that <coughs> long uh, series of paragraphs into the uh, into the uh, kedusha, and if you said the bracha already, Hamelach Hakadosh, even if you only said Baruch Ata Hashem, you should conclude Hamelach Hakadosh and then go on with Ata Vechartanu and so on. Take it from there. Okay, uh, tune in tomorrow. We'll we've got some more to go. Have a good day.